Hello, today we'll be going over the default quick scans within AmberScan Connect and demonstrating a few of them for you. The goal today is to help you decide which quick scan best suits your needs. If none of the quick scans covered today fit your needs, please refer to the How to Create or Edit Quick Scan video or the user guide for further instructions. So we're going to look at the quick scan by right clicking on the icon for AmberScan Connect in the system tray here. We're doing that because the AmberScan Connect software is in kiosk mode by default. And we're going to select Quick Scans. And now you can see that there are five default Quick Scans. Now, Quick Scans are a preset scanning profile with settings such as color mode, single or double sided. Double sided is often referred to as duplex and Athena-specific settings, such as document type or upload face image. Now the first default quick scan we're going to cover is card. The car this profile is designed for cards. It will scan both sides of a card in color and by default has the face image uploading when selecting driver's license as your document type. The next default quick scan is document color. This quick scan, this profile is designed for single sided documents that you need the color scan of. So if the color is important, then you'd want to select this one if you're only capturing one side. The next quick scan is document color duplex. So like the last one, it's for a document when capturing the color is important, but this one captures both sides when you're scanning, not just the front side. The next quick scan is document GS. GS stands for grayscale. This quick scan is designed for single-sided documents where the color you're scanning is not so it's going to look a lot more like a photocopy than it would an actual picture of the document. So no color, just kind of looks like a photocopy. Grayscale scans also have the advantage that they take up less space than a color scan. So that means they upload faster and uh, scan a little bit faster with most scanners. So this is for grayscale single-sided documents. The next quick scan is document grayscale duplex. This is for double-sided documents where the color is not important. So I'm going to demonstrate a quick scan. We're going to be using the card quick scan first. All right, I'm going to put a card into the scanner. It's going to scan through. I'm going to get my Athena Connect Attach Patient Document dialog to pop up. And I'm going to type in Murray. I'm going to select the patient, and I'm going to choose document type, driver's license. I'm going to click OK. And as you can see, a secondary window popped up with a box around the face image. Because we had the card quick scan selected, by default, the upload face image setting is on. So anytime I scan in a driver's license, it's going to pull up this secondary screen and the software is going to put a box around the face. Now if I click OK, 
It's going to upload the driver's license as well as the patient photo to the AthenaNet application for the patient we selected. So let's open up the AmberScan Connect user interface so you can see toggling quick scans via both when in kiosk mode or when in the user interface, the full user interface. So we've got, you can do that by either selecting show or double clicking on the AmberScan Connect icon on the desktop. So let's toggle to one of the other popular document types with our users, which is document grayscale duplex. And I am going to pop in a document to the scanner, and it's going to scan the document in grayscale, both sides. Now we can search for a patient name. And, uh, do a different patient. So I'm going to select Dan. And we're going to pull up Lori Danforth. And the document type, that was a consent form. And you can notice down here, we've got the option to add an internal note. I'm just going to type in test here. And I'm going to click OK. And that patient consent form has now been uploaded to that patient record in Athena. Now, if you have, and, and that's all I wanted to cover today. So if you had any further questions, feel free to refer to the user guide or contact Amber Support. They're more than happy to help you out. Have a good day.